Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Which task can you use to delete, rename, move files and folders in SSIS package? So let's go to SSDT and see which, which task uh, or task we have to do that. Uh, one thing what we see here, file system task, that's the very first task we can see here and that has the name say file system. So that's kind of, you know, help us uh, to remember it is related to the files. So let's open this file system task and now what we have here, we have uh, different operations. So we can see that the very first operation is a copy file, the next create directory, delete directory, delete directory content, delete file, move file, move file and uh, move directory and rename file. So there are different types uh, and we can set the attributes as read only and uh, read write whatever of the, those files as well. So this is the task we can use to perform delete file, rename or even the folders as well. One, one more thing, if somebody asks you is this the only task that can do these operations? No, this is not the only one. So we have a script task here. If we see here, uh, let's find our script task. Script task can also do the same operations what we are doing with the file system task. The only difference is uh, by using the script task what we have to do, we have to write the code by ourselves. So we have to use a uh, sys.io um, namespace and uh, then uh, we can select uh, any of the uh, C sharp code or we can uh, select the uh, vb.net uh, and uh, th you know that's that's how we can write our scripts uh, and uh, we can read uh, um, from the directory the file names and we can move them to the different folders we can create a new folder we can create folders with the date time and all that those all things can be done uh, with uh, with file system task as well but there are certain things uh, with the file operation maybe the file system task cannot do file system task can only do these operations so we can use the variables in the source and destination names if we want to but let's say, say in one of the cases we have to read the oldest or the most recent file name from the folder so file system task cannot read those kind of things it can do operations on file but it will not be given us information in those cases we can use the script task to get that information so to answer your question, there are two task that, tasks that we can use. We can use file system task or we can use script task to move the files, copy the files and folders, uh, you know, uh, any operation we can uh, do on uh, files and folders by using these two tasks. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.